Good afternoon, this is Simon Browning, and in this video we're going to demonstrate how we can approve new content that has been submitted for inclusion on the home page of the Live Sound Department web page on the Cosmo Music website, as well as a new blog entry for the Live Sound blog. And this, of course, applies to any of the department pages, and in fact, any of the section of the site in general. So I have received, I as an administrator, or an approver have received two emails that say there have been some state changes. And if I look at the, one of these, it says at the Typo 3 site, Cosmo Music in the workspace Cosmo Draft Workspace, state change for something called some new text. That is the, actually the title of the element. At location, Cosmo Music Department's menu live sound. So that tells me where it was. It was in the live sound section in the page tree. The new status is ready for review. And the user put a comment of please review this new comment for the department page, content for the department page and the person to make the change was the live sound editor. And I have another one as well for the blog, which is very similar. It tells me who made the change, what section of the site it goes to, etc. So to do these uh, updates, to either approve or reject them, I need to log into the back end, and I've actually already done that. So here we've just logged in as the approver, and this approver is actually a full administrator as well, so they have the full menu. And if I click on page, I'll see the, the page tree for the Cosmo site. Now the easiest way to go about this, and of course there's multiple ways, is to go to workspaces. When I go to workspaces, I get a list of workspaces and things that require being done. So I want to make sure that I'm uh, in the Cosmo Draft workspace. By default there are various workspaces in the system, but I w we're, we're using Cosmo Draft. All the editors have access to Cosmo Draft, and I just want to see the drafts, um, and I don't want to see any differences, at least at this point. And Looking down here, we have a table of what's going on. So we have page tree, which shows us the page where the changes are. Uh, we have live version, which shows us what's currently live on the site. So those ones with the hide icons are hidden from the live site. And under workspace versions, they're not hidden. And we can see that their stage is currently review, and we have some other controls. So the easiest way to go about doing this, actually, let me just show you first. I can show, we can see actually the changes that have been made directly in this view by switching this drop down from do not show differences to show differences in line. And it shows us right here what changes were made. So these are actually very small pieces of text to sample things. It shows us any new text that's been added in green. Uh, if text had been removed, so for example, if the person had been editing an older element, the removed text would show up in red, so it might have a combination of red and green stuff. So that gives us a brief overview, and if it's very short, maybe we know from right there that we want to approve or reject it. But let me turn that off. Um, you can also have them in a pop-up. Let's go back to do not show differences. And the way I like to look at them is I just edit them. So we have an edit pencil next to everything. So on the live sound page, there's the some new text element. Let's edit it, and we can see exactly what's going on. So that's its header. The headline, some new text, and if I click on the text view, there's the actual text that was entered. Now I'm using um, uh, Chrome as my browser right now, and Chrome doesn't have the rich text editor. If I was in Internet Explorer or Firefox, I'd have the full text editor with bold and italics and all that kind of stuff. In any event, here is the element that they've done, and I can actually make a change to it here if I wanted to. Let's just close it. And assuming that I was happy with it, I, I didn't want to make any changes and I didn't want to reject it, all I need to do is click this button here, which is Publish. When I click that button, it will go up live on the website. If I don't like it, if I want to send it back to them, uh, we have this little down arrow here, which if I hover over it tells me Reject. Actually, let's just look at that for a second. If I hover over this area, it gives me a little status update of what's going on. So we can see that at 1354, the Live Sound Editor sent the element to review. Let's reject it. And it will ask me why I'm rejecting it, and I'm going to say just because uh, it needs more detail. And I'll say OK. My screen will update, and it will now show a status of rejected. And hovering over it as well, I can see that um, the status is updated too. We, we also see that we put in OK, it needs more detail as well. And as the editor, I will also get uh, an email that tells me that. And I actually have it in my email here. Let's pop it up and bring it over. So I got an email that says element was rejected, comment, you need to provide more detail. So the editor then can provide more detail uh, and they can resubmit it, in which case it'll go back to review and we can approve it if it's good then. Same for the blog, it's exactly the same. I can edit here um, and if I'm happy with it, I can publish it. And once I do publish it, it will disappear from here because we're looking at Cosmo Draft, Drafts, it's no longer in that state, it's gone. So there you go, thank you very much.